Teachers and other school employees will need to get the COVID vaccine or be tested a minimum of once a week. Governor Phil Murphy made the announcement this afternoon. Carrie Corrado is in Camden County with the story of what one school superintendent had to say about it. Carrie? Yuki, this announcement comes as school is right around the corner. New Jersey joins states like Connecticut and California when it comes to the mandate. We are continuing to do all we can to ensure as safe a start as possible. A vaccine mandate in full force in New Jersey. Governor Phil Murphy making it mandatory for teachers and staff grades pre K through 12 to get the COVID 19 vaccine by October 18th. He says the majority of teachers already have the shot. We have received multiple local reports that point to an overwhelming majority of our educational and classroom leaders having already taken their personal responsibility to their families and students and colleagues. Seriously, and gotten vaccinated. This new requirement comes as COVID cases are on the rise, and children 12 years and under are not eligible for the vaccine yet. Cherry Hill Superintendent of Schools Joseph Malash says they anticipated the mandate. Honestly, we weren't surprised. Um, so it's something that we've been talking about, planning for, and preparing for uh, since the beginning of the summer. He says they are now working quickly to incorporate the vaccination requirement and get teachers ready for the first day of school. It's a day many are looking forward to. There's a lot of excitement about the first day of school. Uh, we are thrilled for the kids to be back and thrilled for the staff members to be back. Schools should have human beings in them, and a lot of them. State and school leaders alike are making sure students are welcomed back in a safe and healthy environment. We believe that the more people that are vaccinated, the safer it is for everybody to be around. Now, for teachers who do not want to get the vaccine, they will have to undergo regular testing. We're live in Cherry Hill, Kerry Carrado, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. And Kerry, do you feel